Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Board Game Geek Show live at Origins Game Woo. Fair 2019. I'm joined by my lovely co-hosts, W.R.C. Martin, Steph Hodge, Lincoln Amherst, and Rodney Smith. Hello. How's everybody doing? Awesome. Very good. Good. Cool. Great. It was, a, it was a quick day for me. Yeah. Woke up late. <laughs> <laughs> then I sucked it. into a bunch of games. I actually played some games just now. Excellent. Yeah, okay. But that's, you know, I can't complain, but that's not my typical Origins uh, duties, but uh, it was nice. That's right. Cool. We have a few more people on the staff well, this year. Well, we're basically oh like twice as big staff this year than yeah. we have been in the past. So, Ronnie only C Slack last year. It was only one day. So yeah, it was only one day. One day. We had him for one day. Today we, we have the, the whole, whole time. Got the whole Rodney this time. You were here last year. <laughs> full I was. Rodney. The full Rod. You guys were here. Oh, Derek was not here. <laughs> right, Chaz well. was not here. Rob Warren was not here. That's right. Who am I forgetting? Chad. Chad was here. Beth, Chad was oh, Beth was, was not here. Beth was here. Yes, but it's like a few more people. It definitely helps. Like. Oh load, yeah, it's, so it I gives really you a little bit more breathing room. Um, yeah. yeah, and Marty's been here. Marty's been helping, out. helping yep. out. Yeah, more hands so. on deck. Yeah, he's yeah, been really in here in the mor uh, morning to start things off, which is yeah. great. Yeah, with and Chaz. And he even helped last night. He was helping to pack things down. Yeah, like, yeah. it's yeah. awesome. It's a good team. I think that was just to help you get out of here sooner. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he wanted to go. <laughs> self interest. <laughs> get other places. He was hungry. <laughs> Whatever works. Hangry. He gets hangry, man. Okay. He gets hangry. Before we jump into games. Yeah. Eric Martin, is there any news from the show? A uh, small bit of news, okay. uh, the OP, formerly known, known as USAopoly, has announced Toy Story Obstacles and Adventures, which right. is a cooperative deck building game along the lines of Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. Oh, neat. It's oh, for wow. two to five players. There are six boxes that will be inside. Oh, so it's a stage. Nice. That represent the movies and the shorts in the Toy Story universe. Oh, fun. And so, so awesome. you are going to represent Woody or Buzz or Bo Peep or Rex or some sort of character. And then you will explore the movies and you will add more cards to your world over time, uh, trying to overcome menaces and uh, proceed through the movies. Hmm. So it's aimed uh, ages eight and up. So a little younger than the Harry Potter one, a little simpler, more streamlined. Yeah, uh, that, that difficulty curve on Harry Potter man, gets it's pretty hard. strong. I literally end. played yeah. through the whole thing last weekend. Oh, wow. Oh, Again. Okay. So there you go. Cool. For the second time. Was that the second time through? Yeah. So what was it like playing through the second time? Did it feel like a different Actually, experience? Actually, I did the exact or? same thing. We, played, we won everything except for level six, which we lost once. Oh. And the, the same exact thing happened on level six the first mm. time. We lost once, and then we won. Hmm. So I don't know if level six is just... How many players? Just two, both times. Which I've heard two is far easier than oh, four. four oh, like the game you. doesn't scale. Oh, okay. The four player will kill you. Yeah, four and, player. And the expansion is just impossible. Because <laughs> with, with each player, right, you turn over a card, mm -hmm. and often they will affect other players. Yes. So if you have four players, I got hit from Lincoln's turn, yeah. I got hit from Rodney's turn, uh, yeah. I got hit from but someone on the else's contrary, turn. The abilities of the characters help all players. Yeah. Apparently so, not enough. Well, okay, I don't know. I haven't yeah, played really. Yeah. So. So. I watched Forrest Prison live stream where they were playing Harry Potter all day for the live stream and did not beat it. Oh really? Because they were they were stuck on the final episode. It's a lot of time. Oh. It's a lot of time and you put kept in. Kept playing it. Over wow. and yeah. over. And would they have four players as well? Or? Four players. Yeah. yeah. It's hard. It's, it's it's de oh, no. Yes, that was it was at Force. Percent. It was the developers. It was right. like, Andrew I, I know. Though, as well, too, oh, yeah. So, yeah. He, he probably yeah. wasn't there. Uh, yeah. No, he was not. But Deirdre was there. I remember Deirdre. Hmm. So, they were like, no, we didn't beat it yet. No, we didn't beat it yet. Can you, can you clarify so that something is, for me? So that'll be due out Q4 2019. Is it the op or is it the OP? The op. 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 And we also learned. Not a, I don't know if people realize this before, but the pronounce, uh, correct pronunciation is come on, yeah, I not Simon. Right. I know. That's the new yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, think, I think I remember saying this a long time ago. Come on, let's play. Like, is what the name should My really understanding play. is that initially that was the intention. It would be for come it to on. be come on. And then everyone was saying Simon, so they, they said, okay, well, we're not going to. Look, everyone's not saying Simon. Fight about it. sound right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't. Well, you're not is probably the best way to go. Besides, and then, wow. and then now they've come out and said like, no, let's try to get yeah. this straight. Yeah, come so, on. Which is sort of in line with years ago, Asmodee issued a press release where they removed the accent from their name, but they did not actually change the pronunciation oh of the God. name. Right. It is still Asmodee, not Asmodee. Right. Interesting, right? 
So why remove the accent? <laughs> it's too hard Leave to remove. Leave the accent well, the in place. E, was it an E with the little accent yeah. built on yeah. top of it? Or was yes. it a, it's not an apostrophe? No, it's, it's a, hard to see accent over top. Accent yeah. goo. Yeah, you can't put, it's not on the American typewriter. It is on the American, I mean, it is. It is. yeah, you, option E. Oh, oh, yeah. on a Mac. On a Mac. Not, a, not on a PC. I see. But that's I right. imagine if they removed it just for the sake of that's one less thing when you're typing Possibly. it in an email or whatever. It's, it must be you know. easier. But then yeah. Yeah. you should make that clear. The pronunciation yeah. stays the same, which I find that stuff would drive me bonkers. I, for I it. want to be correct <laughs> yeah. if I'm doing all this. Yeah. So they had some interesting stuff. They have Talisman Batman. They've got uh, the, new the Harry Potter dueling game. They've yeah. got Toy yep. Story deck building game. Mm -hmm. They have that uh, uh, Star Wars. Star yeah, Wars. That we can't get. Star, something ri Dark, Dark Side Ri Rising. Rising, but that's not Amer American release. Um, yeah, so they're kind of a, a super interesting stuff. That's right. Yeah. They're wired, I, we, all the licensed I partners. I can't wait to get it. Well, I understand now why they took away the Opoly. Oh, yeah, for Right, because sure. they're not just Monopoly stuff And internally, they have been calling themselves the Op for a while. So. Oh, the oh, okay. okay. I just, right. It's a weird name, too. I don't know. So why the, the op? capital yeah. P? It should be a lowercase P, yeah. Is it a capital? It is a capital. Yes. Well, here's the thing. Hmm. There's a company called Ocean Pacific that yeah, right. logo uses it's a capital O, P. Capital o and a lower P. Oh, okay. Right. That's, That's probably why. Is that yeah. even out anymore? That yeah. was like, I that was know. 80s. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, know, I, had a, I had a lot of, popular. I, I still had a lot God. of those options. All the kids <laughs> where I lived, it's, you wore the, the OP, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, the shirt, yeah, the whole thing. Yep. That's right. Yeah. I remember all that time. Yes, youngster. Yeah, I'm an old guy. So it must not be What I know, I'm pretty sure it's around. It is still in existence. Nostalgia brand. California, man. Where do you think that stuff was at? Yeah. So oh, it's not, not loads of news, uh, yeah. but like a couple little things, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to think what else is in here. No. Uh, it's more I'm talking with a few publishers, and they're like, well, we're going to talk about this, but it's not clear yet. Right. So one thing I think I can mention, uh, that hard. people don't really know. Uh, so Japanime Games obviously specializes in a lot of manga, yep. a lot of imported releases. They're releasing in the North America Tokyo Sidekick, which... Most people don't know. The distinction with this, it is the largest Japanese game ever, I've ever. ever seen. The box is about this wow. tall, they don't care this about wide. This it's, you know, yeah, the original box. For people that don't it know, generally monstrous. they come with small yeah, like, boxes, yeah. right? Yeah. So this is, this is four big. Entrance yeah. by three. They were <laughs> selling that, I believe, initially uh, mid-2018 is when it came out. And they're a huge line, big following, lots of people super excited about it. And it's the size of like, 15 like other yeah, Japanese games. Yeah, it was in their home, right? You know? Yes. Oh, wow. Monstrous. So, that was like more the, details on that later. Their Cthulhu Wars was there, and it was just, it looked weird in the store, because everything's tiny, and then you get this massive <laughs> box. Oh, and, in Tokyo? Yeah. yeah. Yes. At the stores, because the stores are very small. Um, was that Rock and Roll was the name of that one store? That was an uh, art light store? Sounds right. And they, they had more space in one area than the other stores I'd been to, but they had a few like of those types of games, Gloomhaven and uh, Cthulhu Wars, just huge beasts sitting in there that just looked, I mean, they look big in the stores here, yeah. but they really looked insane. Yeah, right. right They're big in I mean, because that's like a carry-on yeah. size game. Yeah. yeah. And you could guess. fit so many yeah. oink games. Yeah, <laughs> well, I think Lincoln took a picture of a wall of games, and it must have been like at least 100 games on the wall, all just yeah, like tile games. games. Like, yeah. Like, what's that? What's that? Hmm. Yeah, specialized yeah. in card games. So. Little, any little other news? Uh, any other news coming out of the show? Mm. I haven't heard anything. I heard tell that you had news. What are you talking oh, about? Oh well, I'm, I got a new game. Well, uh, well, let's talk. All right, let's just go into game. game yeah, talk. let's do it. What is cool that you've seen, Rodney? Let's start. Oh, with I'm you. happy to jump in because I played a game. I didn't think I was going to get a chance to play here. It's a game called Watergate yeah. by Matthias yes. Kramer. Matthias. Matthias. Matthias Kramer. Matthias Krama. 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 Matthias Krama. Thank you. Yes. Um, From Frosted Games. Frosted Games Renegade and Capstone. And Capstone. Uh, and so Capstone. this it is, is. I guess so. I think yeah, it's Capstone. Uh, oh, Renegades in the 1828. Yes, That's exactly. Good. So this okay. one is, is a yes. Capstone Frosted Games partnership. And I think the thing that most people will hear it compared to is going to be a lot of people I think saying, oh, it's it's like Twilight Struggle Light. I think it's a fair. If you got to go somewhere to make a comparison, fine. But it's, there's a lot of little differences, too. First of all, it plays much faster, uh, about an hour, I would say. And each player has their own deck instead of a shared deck. But it all takes place in the Nixon-era Watergate. So one player is taking on the role of the Washington Post editor, and one person is playing as Nixon. Right. And so as the, in the newspaper, as the newspaper editor, you're trying to 
And I don't know the Nixon era, and unfortunately, history as well. You're trying to connect You're trying to connect the dots, exactly. Always. You're trying to find people that you can link to Nixon who have been doing things you know, that, that will reveal Nixon has not been doing what he should be doing, right? right. And so you're, as the Washington editor, you're trying to trace, chase down these leads, draw the connections. Meanwhile, the Nixon player is trying to block those leads, stifle the, your progress on this sort of grid. Obstruct? Yeah, obstruct. Oh, yes, okay. obstruct. Yeah. yeah, exactly, right? So the, the board looks like this, um, like a procedural police investigation board like where you try to pin the, oh, things. Oh, like with the yarn between the Exactly, pins trying to make those connections. Strings. And, That's uh, the actual board. Yeah, the, okay. the board is like and that. And you're filling it in. You're filling it in. Uh, you're, you're and you're drawing and you're trying to create paths. So someone said, like, is it area control? Not really. Like I'm trying to quickly connect paths between this person that, I, that we have now determined is is up to something connected to Nixon. That's not good. I'm trying to quickly connect that path. Meanwhile, the Nixon player realizes I'm investigating down that path. They're trying to block it. So now I have to think. They take a longer path. But all this oh, is being so done. Oh, blocking your route. Yeah, blocking yeah. it. All this is being done with card play. Yep. But I have my own deck, you have your own deck, and when you play a card, you're either using it to manipulate on a track, which will reveal this evidence that's part of this board, or uh, to play the event, the historical event or effect, which again is a very Twilight Struggle-ish type of thing. It's a multi-use card. Yeah, and we each have uh, different victory conditions. Yes. I'm trying to get two of these people that are connected to Nixon and create those two paths. Nixon is trying to just gain momentum to stay ahead of everything. Just wear out, run out the clock. Run out, exactly, run out the mm. clock. Yeah. So it's this, this weird tension I was playing as the, the uh, Washington Post editor of trying to get this information revealed and brought into the light but I had to sort of pay attention to Nixon and what he was doing and try to slow him down. He just, just run away, like, so it's not taking me too much time. So this is weird, like, beautiful tension. I really enjoyed the game. Let me just cut to the chase. You played the full game? I played the full How game. How long it took? It was fantastic. It took us a, about an hour, oh, but it would have been awesome. a little, I'm, I'm sure it could be like somewhere in the 45, it could be a little longer too, but man, I really, really enjoyed it. I really like Twilight Struggle, so that's maybe a part of a bias there, but I like this idea of a quick, quicker version that still has a lots of tense and interesting decisions, so. I, that's coming. That's coming out in August. Uh, August in at Gen Con, so Gen Con. probably around that that time. And, so for uh, sale at Gen Con. For sale oh, at Gen Con. Cool. Yeah. So that was that was the, the probably yeah that's the one game I've played so far here. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Sure. Who's next? Who's excited? Mm -hmm. I'm always excited. Are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always excited. Um, I played tons of games. Uh, I played a few games that I really like, but um, I think my favorite was Era. Era. Medieval that, Age. Era. Yeah. Era. You got to throw in the Medieval Age subtitle the, the because oh, there okay. will there will probably be more. There more will, eras. Oh, yeah, okay. in different oh, that settings. Makes sense. There's different eras that uh, you can right. have in here. Oh my so. gosh. Era Medieval. Oh. Age. I can't wait. <laughs> but um, it's it's a roll and write, but it's not a roll and write because it's a roll and place big lovely Trunky pieces buildings, into yeah. this grid that you have. So uh, it kind it reminded me a lot of Roll Through the Ages. It is it's the system I develop, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. that makes sense because that's what it reminded me of. Yeah. And you're collecting resources, you have a cap at what you can hold, yep. and you're using these to build buildings and kind of attack on other players a little bit. But you could say, you can't take my resource and take minus two points instead, which I only learned at the end because I had a ton of negative points. I'm like, you can't have that. Da -da -da. Oh, you can block somebody? Play? Oh, it played in under an hour. Okay. I mean, it was good. And, and the pieces it's really are fast. done? They have the final yeah, pieces um, on the board? Yes. yes. Final production so, quality. Yeah. Yes. How's the color look? Because it was they were a little odd at Nuremberg. The yellows. It's yellows very are yellow, done. so that's fine. The board well, is very yellow. How it's yellow? a board, yellow board, and then there's wheat pieces, pieces on, on top, top of it, so it's like you're growing cool. in oh, that so it's field. Like a growing city, kind of. Like. Yes. Yeah. So you have your walls that you can build, and if you enclose a wall, like all your buildings inside will be worth double the points. So you build the wall. Right and right. so every building you build will get you resources or some ability or end game scoring kind of thing. It's, but then once five stacks run out of a certain type of building then the game is over. So that could just go oh. like this, if, if like all right. the little walls go, or all the big walls oh, go. So if there's a drill down on a specific it get, Then type. it gets an X on it once it's done. And so there's two of the higher buildings, like the monastery or something. If two people build them, there's an X. So it could go just Which publisher is this? Oh, this is Eggridge Field. It's Field. coming, coming uh, Plan B at Gen, Gen Con. Con. Okay. I can't wait. Another Gen Con release. Yeah. So a lot of Gen Con releases be being announced or shown here. Yeah, honestly. for sure. Yeah. Demo. Yeah, there's more than half the games on sale or demo or on the preview art for demo. Yes, so yes, half, there are. A third of the games are for sale. Did you actually count it up? I, I know it's it was a lot. Seventy and two hundred and ten. 
Okay. 70 out of 210. So one third of the games are for sale now. The other 140 are for demo. Okay. And that was only like, that was last week when I checked it. I yeah. Checked it. So we have about three, added, 310, oh, so we 12 titles now. More yeah. than that, yeah. But still, if that Not ratio continues. Yeah. Yes. Like in what you I finally see. got to play Wingspan. Wingspan. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. I did not have access to yeah. it, and it's been hard to get. We needed to do it for the SDJ show. Right. Um, that is one of the Channer nominations. Sure. And um, it was really great. It's really, really cool, and a lot of stuff going on, uh, really cool mechanisms. That my, of course, biggest gripe with just about every game nowadays, everything's too tiny. We're little, getting old. Little, it's that, it's, that I'm sure it's that, but, that but something being that big on a card, and I need to read that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Away, it's just, it's rough. I don't understand that kind of stuff. Um, but man, has it got a lot of cool stuff going on. And it, it's gorgeous. It was and it looks awesome. It was a tight game, too, um, surprisingly. Uh, it probably could have easily flipped to almost any of the players had something gone differently. It was really cool. Did the Canadian Goose show up? Uh, I don't remember, maybe. No? Yeah. I, I got the, the main bird on the box, yes. which is okay. the yep. split tail swallow or whatever. Yeah. The fly catcher. Fly, swa fly catcher, yeah. And uh, it was ridiculous, expensive to build, worth a lot of points, but it sure helped everybody else out, They're, including yeah. me, yeah. Yeah. giving everybody a worm. It's a cooperative. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I wanted bird. more of those for other people to do the same thing. Yeah, you wanted me. other people to do that. I want other people to get those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it was cool. You, we it, figured you should have got two. We, re we, mod we, we already came up with a variant. Right. So you get two and everybody else gets one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would probably two, be two worms. Or so. It was fine. That's right. Because I, I wasn't... Home developers. I'm not going to spoil yeah. the game, but Taxi. I was not far out of the running Armchair. on that and one. And there's some BGG <laughs> bits coming right. for that, right? Absolutely. So we played it with yes, the new... Uh, new bits. The new bits. Oh, and cool. um, what, what are the new bits going to be for? Like replacing the, the, the food? The food. Yep. yep. And then the I painted the... Uh, uh, the Star player marker. Yeah, which is the swallow. Um, and... Uh, is it a swallow? It is, isn't oh, okay. it? Split tail. Fly catcher? Fly, fly catcher. But I think it is a small. Anyway, okay. who knows? Uh, is it African I'm not a bird or Who knows? European. Nobody knows. Nobody. Nobody knows. No one would ever know. Nobody knows how birds That was what we were like surprised about. <laughs> Two seconds but, later, um, somebody posts. <laughs> but we will, be, we will be involved in an auction for that copy of the game. Oh, oh yeah, we're going to auction that out. Yeah, so we're going to put it up for auction. It will be for some charities that Deborah Ann Wall, she played the game with us and that she is there near and dear to her and her, her and her husband. Nice, yeah. And so it'll be with all of those bits and the painted minis, so that'll be coming soon. Yeah, and I'll be signed and stuff, so that'll be fun, and I hope yeah, it goes for cool. a lot of money, because it looks great, and it's hard to get right now, and you're getting all the bits well in way, advance way of them advanced, being yeah. in, uh, available from the cool. And a painted store. mini. Yeah, like and it. my painted mini. I'll probably work on it a little bit more. I only had a couple hours maybe to work on it, and I'll maybe Touch tweak it, it a little bit. Sure. Because I had a lot of ideas and ran out of time. <laughs> What are you going to play, Eric? Uh, oh, I mean, there's a couple things. Well, let's just talk about Jaws. Oh, oh my gosh, you, Jaws. you guys can Why contribute as well. Yeah. How so, do we forget Jaws? Jaws, the board game, is being published uh, by Ravensburger. It's designed by Forest Prison yeah, yeah, Creative yeah, yeah. under their Prospera Hall pseudonym. It will be released at Target as a Target exclusive title Early, on June 23rd, yeah. Yeah, coming uh, soon, 2019. Right? Yeah. Uh, I'll have a preview video scheduled for June 21st. Assuming I finish recording that in time, <laughs> editing it. Uh, we played here with three of us and shark. Chad. Yeah, Chad. Scott was the shark. Oh, it's a one versus Chad. many game. Yeah, one versus okay. one, one versus shark. many. It's several. hidden movement, one which several. one versus several. I know Scott's a big I fan of hidden, hidden movement. movement. He was immediately like, "I'm the shark." <laughs> gonna be here. He I'm usually shark. not the hidden movement guy. Oh. I always make other people. I always make the other people. Okay, you like that. finding people more like, than yeah. hiding. But yeah, I'm always tense about like, do you're gonna find. Right. But this time you can actually be the shark. Yeah, you are the yes. shark. So the game so is a two-act game. Oh, okay. It's a two-act game, and you can just play each act separately, but really you want to play it together because you play the first act until either the humans, Brody, Hooper, and Quint, shoot two barrels into the shark, slowing him down, bringing him to the surface for the final battle, or the shark eats nine swimmers, in which case you right. also move in the final battle because the shark is now superpowered. Strong. The more the shark eats, the more abilities the shark gets in the second half of the game. And the less gear the humans get. Okay. So you want to shoot those barrels as quickly as possible in order to get more gear. Right? We were so busy chasing the shark around the board we didn't have time to prepare and go to the store, order all the gear. 
So the second half of the game, you're now on the Orca. The shark is coming around. The shark has to destroy the boat completely or kill all the humans. And obviously the humans have to kill the shark. And Scott looked like he was running was, away with it. Did you play I both acts? We just, played both acts. I, okay. I thought it was going to crush. He, he, it seemed like you had it no It really chance. seemed like Yeah, the boat crush. was just I was getting destroyed and left and right, damaging At one us. point, I did eat Quint. Yep. Quint went Which down. Which was dramatic. Yeah, perfect. Spoiler. Oh. Uh, Spoiler. I haven't but, seen it. Well, yeah. yeah. It came down to the final. It was a lot of damage at once. Oh, you did yeah. a ton. It was, it was a just it was bite. one gulp. Yeah, it was like <laughs> one swallow, one shot. Big gulp. So what did you think of it? Did you enjoy it? Uh, yeah. And, but yeah. then we came back, yeah. and we came back, we though. almost oh. got him at the end. And, I mean, you know, of course, I think it's... it could have. I think it was like one or two points of yeah, I think health. You were yeah. Two I was two. Yeah, it was very, it was very close. Point point but then he destroyed the boat, and it was just me and Hooper in the water, or me and Birdie in the water, and clearly then we were chum. Potential chum. Pre-chum, yeah. I think is the correct So I played the second term. time that day. Yes. So a different group. You were pre chum Include Pete Shirey, who is a Jaws aficionado. Right. And he loved it. He was the shark. He was so cocky. He was so <laughs> cocky. We never even located him once in the first round. He ate nine swimmers. Wow. Which wow. flips to this act two. Okay. Right. You actually found me on, on our game, right? You were, you found, I think, at seven. I was at seven. You found me. Flipped over. He yes. was at the full strength, like max, max power, max, and we got the fewest amount of cards. Yes. And it looked like he was just going to just roll over us and destroy it. We were like, we had no chance. But as the boat falls apart, he has to decide. There's less obvious places, I guess, to attack. Right. So we were just hitting every space. Like we were spreading our t Instead of doubling up or tripling up on a space and completely missing him, we were spreading out every time. So every turn we would hit him for like one or two or three, whatever damage. And that literally came out. Yes, it was enough. Wow. Uh, I believe Hooper got eaten. I can't remember if someone got eaten or not. That's I think right. it was Hooper. Poor Hooper. Hooper. Was he yelling that it was a tiger shark? Tiger <laughs> shark, tiger shark. <laughs> Ma school of mackerel. Um, but in the end, we did defeat him. But it was really close. It was another close finish. Mm. Could have really gone. Right. Both ways. So and I've played two other games that also that came down where just a few points left. So it's left. pretty nicely balanced and fun. Like yeah. It's a it's a duke em up game at the end, right? I mean, you're, the yes. strategy is there, but it's more rolling dice. And Lots of dice. Trashy, yes. Whereas the first is more of like a Euro hidden movement game. Yeah. With action points. And yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really good. It's, it's impressive. That's right. A little complicated with the... A little bit of rules issues. Not issues, but adjacency. they're rules. Adjacency issues. Adjacency issues. Where can you attack? Where, yeah. Where can you swim? What My boat's it? starting to get destroyed, but that means there's more water accessible because I have less boat around me. So, <laughs> yeah, so you, you know, I can swing that's my base further. That's a silver lining. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's pretty exciting, too. It looks really yeah. good as the boat pieces go away. You see the boat yeah, in the water. Yeah, you flip pieces over to make it more destroyed. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's really nice. So, pieces yeah. are nice. Cards are good. It's got quotes on the cards, so you can... Mm. That's right. The first half of the game also has Amity events that are all from the movie. Like, everything in the movie is in that game. It is truly definitive Jaws game. Yep. Jaws nice. the movie game. Yeah. They did yeah. a nice job with the yeah, license. Sure. So, there you go. Well, that should be my game, but I played one more game. What'd that you play? no one knows about yet. Oh. The Copenhagen, Copenhagen, Roland Wright. Oh, oh wow. my gosh. Oh. Yes, it's real good. It is... Evocative of Copenhagen, the board game, where you're building w built windows horizontally and vertically, but yes. with dice, right? Right. Yes. And tet tetradominoes, tetradominoes, Poly pentominoes, polyominoes. Yeah. Polyominoes. There's yeah. like, but there's twos, threes, fours, and fives. Polyominoes. Yeah. Yeah. Polyominoes. So as you roll, you're building color. Depending on how many colors you roll, you can pick bigger and bigger polyominoes, and they're one use publicly. So if I do a five point purple, I cross it off the board. No one else can take that. Right. So it's sort of a race. To yeah, get okay. Those. And then you're building your windows and horizontal. Well, that's like the board game. Because exactly. there's mm. only one five piece purple. Mm. Okay. Did not know that. Yeah. So you roll, you write. There's tons of powers, tons of manipulation. Way thinkier than I thought it would be, as far as like, well, if I do this and change the colors and add a space and add a tick, and then I can change it from an X to a circle and all these things, like way more options. So. Uh, Raji from Queen Games told me potentially Gen Con, it nice. will be available. Oh really? He's aggressively putting it fast tracking. Okay. So, nice. so is it has it been announced? No. Oh, well, so here you go. Until now. Not until now. <laughs> <laughs> now. They were gonna make the BGG page after we. Oh nice. Mail you to. Was get this it the thing there. that was gonna be on camera? 
I don't know. There's another Initially, game too. We, well, we had but we had Queen that. booked with Luxor, the Mummy's Curse, Luxor, Mummy. and TBD because ah, they didn't yeah, want right. to reveal. Maybe show that. But he seemed very like let's yeah talk about it. Okay. Did pictures and stuff. All right. Nice. Cool. So, really fun. I love rolling rides. Yeah. A lot of people do right now. You do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all right. All right. There we go. Four of us previewing things. Yeah. Coming. Yeah, all coming. Not available later. for sale except for Wingspan. Oh, this is the last time you're going to see this. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to change. Ooh, it's all changing. Ooh, have we, have we said that anywhere? I've yeah, said it a few so. times. Have you? In certain places. Okay. Yeah, nobody watches that. So. Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be Maybe some, some visual there. changes. Some visual changes on the... Complete visual overhaul. Complete, complete visual overhaul. Wow. Logo Exciting. And, and colors. Yep. And design. So. Yep. Look and where, where, where are people going to see? Do we know, have we yeah, announced Gen when? Will be the, well, actually, July 15th is our goal. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm spilling all the beans that may or may not come true. I'm That's right. Yeah, put uh, some July qualifiers 15th, the in there. Will change. Now, this is not the redesign that's coming. We have a little timing issue with that. But things will change on the website. And then all our graphics change over, literally, literally overnight. We're wiping okay. out everything old, replacing it with new. I'm very excited about Me it. Me too. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, we're all very excited about really it. Good looking. And yeah. comments are saying excited. So yeah, the guys it from is. New Jersey's too, so. Yeah. The guys from Orange Nebula and Blue Blazes. I forget which company is the board game company. Blue Blazes, I think, or Orange, Orange, Orange Nebula. Orange Nebula, is I believe, is the board game company. company, yeah. They did Vindication earlier. Yeah. They helped us out, redesign. Mark is here in one of the, is he still sitting over there? Mark. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's like, Get on camera. Happening. He's like, what? I just spilled the beans about the rebranding. Do you want to say you something? Did. You did. Uh, nobody's watching. Do you want to say everybody watching? Yeah, everyone's watching. Yeah, this is live stream. Oh, you're watching. not. You're delayed. You'll get be ready for it. They're, they're not ready. Do you have anything no. to say about it? Are you like? Are we, are oh. we spilling the beans? I did. I just did. Boom. Spilled the beans. Well, well, we haven't shown anything. Just, we haven't shown anything. Yeah, we're just well, announcing. Good. Yeah, yeah. He's just and talking. I guess I should have consulted with Mark before I spilled the beans. Going back into 2018. Yeah. Yeah, we've been working on since last year. Yeah, raising raising the level of the of the look and feel and the engagement to match what this is and where it's going and reaching a lot more people. Uh, Hopefully, changing the message a little bit on the website oh, by, by the visual looks right. of it. Yeah, and I we're mean, upgrading all the website as you know. We've seen the game pages. You're going to see more. That won't, won't be timed with the rebranding, but it'll come shortly. Right. Yeah. There's. We, we just need to raise the level of some of those things to what really the heart and the passion and the soul of what this is so more and more people can connect with it in the way that we're hoping that they will. Uh, and that is super exciting for all of us. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I've got Immediate awesome. comment, Orange Nebula is involved redesign, gonna be good then. <laughs> so, there you go. Nice. Yes. Yeah, we've been very mindful about it, so hopefully you guys really enjoy that. You did a great also, job. So the forums will explode with harsh criticism. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it will happen. <laughs> That's okay. It's good yeah, to get a reaction of some kind, but I think I'm hoping the majority of people will be really excited, like oh, like I, we are. I think so. You know, it changes it changes a lot of the yeah. Well, the, the, the what's the word? Um, when you look at certain aspects of the website, it can turn people away. Yep. The look for sure. We're working on that, but the guy, the main logo. Yes. Ernie. I've been with him for 20 years. Old Ernie. Time to say goodbye. Yep. And move on. Is he going to get rid of that bandaid finally? Yeah. But for those who yeah. might be concerned, he'll be there in spirit. It's in spirit. Yeah. Yeah. There's a spirited logo coming. Yeah. That's so right. people that knew it will know it still. And people who never knew it will never miss it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm very, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. There'll be some nice changes. You'll see some nice changes at the booth at, at Gen Con, right? The booth will in be redone. Yeah. And we're hoping it's a, a rebirth. Yeah. Of so you had big news then. You had big news for BGG. I didn't even think I was yeah. going to do it, but, I, 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 <laughs> but I here we are. Here we are. Yeah. That's good. I like talk about stuff. I'm Everyone's sure announcing we'll, stuff I'm for sure Gen we'll Con have here. To keep talking so talking about it over and over. Oh, only, yes. This will only reach a fraction of the people. Yeah. Well, yes. The of July, Until people in the see it. Of July, in the beginning. They'll all see it. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's not far away. Yeah. And right. then at Gen Con, I'll be more to see. So that being said, we're going to have to have throwback cons though, where we wear the old stuff and everything. I don't know about that. No, it'll be good. People will stop asking if Ernie is modeled after me. Yeah, yeah. I have had that a fair number of times. I don't quite see it. Well, when I have my hair longer and I can, I can, you, yeah. when you were surfing I have hair. to like foof it up like that. You know, when you're carrying so, your um, checkerboard around. And that's me. right. I used to have little round glasses just like that. Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yes. For me, it's always like, I imagined you as skinnier and more blonde. I'm like, why is that? I wonder. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That's right. Um, now they will imagine you featureless. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who's that blockhead? Only yeah. in silhouette. Yeah. Right. That's the only time I ever see him. All right. Uh, I guess we can wrap it up. Yeah, it's a good note to end on. Yeah. Uh, are the jerseys getting redesigned? Yes. Yep. Yes, they are. Yeah, these because are all, all these colors are gone. Yeah. I should say, at Origin, uh, Gen Con, the Pin Bazaar is designed with the old logo. So we'll be a collector's item. Oh, there you go. Ah. So make sure you come to our booth at Gen Con <laughs> and get the Pin Bazaar pin. Yeah. A little collector's item. We'll never see it again. Yeah. I love pins. I never say never, but no. you won't see it for a while. Yeah, it's, a, it's a new era. Speaking yeah. of era, new right? Era. New era. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. it's exciting. Yeah. You get a new era, too. You never say it right. <laughs> what were you saying? Era? Era. I say era. But... Yeah, it's era. Error? Why'd you say error? Well, I'm just being cruel. That's not true. It's not a boss right. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching yes. our error. live stream. Thank error. you for watching the Board Game Geek Show. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel and uh, giving us a If you bell. haven't, though, please consider subscribing. Right. And click that little bell icon so you get yes. notifications anytime we post a new video. It yeah. takes all three of us to do that, though. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's a lot, lot of work. to remember. It's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> click the bell. Watch the thing. Please subscribe. You know, it's, it's a Thank lot of work. Thank you to my lovely co-hosts, Roddy Smith, Lincoln Damers, Steph Hodge. W. Eric Martin. I'm Scott Alden. <laughs>